What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to episode 20 of our Can We Duo series. This is actually our final episode of Dungeons before we do our grand finale, our DSA of all the questions that you guys have sent in over the past week or few weeks. My team and I have been curating all of it, so hopefully you have some good ones. Feel free to ask them or send it to Avron as well. Something that we can both answer. But today we are going to be doing a regular Moon Hunter and a veteran March of Sacrifices. And hopefully they go well. I don't Woo. think there'll be any stopping points. But today... We're going to find out. Yeah, we have a, a few things to talk about in terms of the gaming stuff. A lot of games and everything has come out recently and oh, life is nah. busy. Where's that silver yes, Don and I spent Arte. all day, well, not all day, but all evening yesterday being a cat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's talk about that. Which so was I, awesome. Make sure this so I beat the game yesterday. Right it took me yeah. about I'm six You beat it already? Yeah. It's, only, it's not a long game. It's like six hours. I didn't beat it. But I was I, I was too distracted by tearing up all the rugs in the <laughs> Yeah. So very few games these days make me want to go back and 100 percent it this one feels like i do want to go back and play it again we were talking about that so i streamed stray my first playthrough on my twitch channel yesterday and we were talking about that in chat like this is definitely a game that's worth going back and 100 percenting um it's fun yeah did you it's know that the cat oh, is like modeled off the developer's actual cat I heard, I heard that they actually did find a stray cat and this is who they modeled it after. And they did the, it is the most lifelike accurate cat I've ever seen. And I say this as a cat lady. <laughs> I hope the cat is uh, real. No, I mean, you know, like sometimes you're in a game and they try to do a really good job with the animations. Yeah. Um, But it's, it's not always like super accurate oh yeah yeah. like this game and red dead redemption are probably the best like most lifelike animated games it's insane yeah like, i just love they, the game the amount of like extra detail good. they put into it definitely very good it's it's you, i like it too because Conscious and maybe i just right. am dumb and missed the point but i'm like quit. why did not expect the game to go in this direction and i really like it did you read the uh, synopsis before you... Uh... Yes, but yeah. I also was just, I don't know, surprised by it. Yeah, when I watched the trailer video of it, it was like, oh, okay, so like a apocalyptic cyberpunk kind of stylish for the game. And I was like, oh, okay, that's Yeah, and cool. like, I, I got that, but I was still surprised. Yeah, got you in the first, like, like 10 it. minutes. I like it, yeah. Also, I don't know how I feel about the scary things scary when i first got it or saw it, i was like oh okay so it's a puzzle game and you play as a cat how hard can it be i was like "Ooh, that's a some of the parts are a little tricky in a weird way i don't know why but it kind of reminds me of like cat prey <laughs> yeah actually without it's, the jump scare <laughs> it's got a very cool feel to it i very much i highly recommend stray my, i think my only the only tough thing for me is it's definitely hard to play on a keyboard. Like, it, it did feel a little tough on keyboard. I would definitely try a controller next time. I'm actually going to get a controller just for this game. Oh, nice. They do say that they recommend it with a um, controller, and I think that's the way to go. But super anything. awesome game. Um, Sporky says that it, the cat looks just like her cat, Holly. Oh, which is nice. super cool. Um, I love that game. Yeah, and I spent, I think I spent the first six minutes of the game just squealing because I was like, I'm <laughs> a cat. I'm so cute. Look at the cat. And then it got real, real quick. I was like, oh, wait, wait. I'm you know that uh, press F meme that's around there? Now it's like the press circle or something. Meow. Press alt to meow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, please meow at every camera. To anyone that got stray and hasn't played it, or even if you have, go back, meow at every camera. <laughs> Just do it, you'll enjoy it. No. Man, the amount of detail they added, that's so good. It's its a great game. Definitely, definitely recommend it. It's up there. Heavy sack. 
Uh, oh, so Josh in my chat says they downloaded Stray on PlayStation this morning and they can't wait to play it. Heck yeah, it's such so a good, good game. You really like it. I saw they had like DLC for it. I'm not sure if it was just like a soundtrack or something, but it was some sort of DLC. Like, they have DLC game. for, there's no way. I mean, I would love DLC. I haven't even beat the game yet. Wait a minute, hold up. I got to back up a little. <laughs> Beat the game I, I first, then we'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, I gotta beat it first. I actually, no, I like actually I'm gonna get a controller because there was one point in the game you, it was actually hard because you had to, to, you had to steer with, you know, WASD, mm -hmm. hold the left shift and then bash left alt all at the same time. And then it was actually really hard. <laughs> um, so the enemy is this I was like, I need a controller. I'm about to become one of them people. Gamer. Gamer! I'm gonna be a real gamer, y'all. Honestly, I yeah. Do. I think a controller would be better. But, eh, not yeah. too but, bad. I mean, you could rebind the keyboard, I guess. And I've seen people just... do it on PC just fine. But yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's I'm, just well, I'm quality a scrub, of life. So... I'm a scrub. Oh. I'm a skiver. <laughs> yeah, it's such a good game. What would you give it so far out of 10? 10 out of 10. Good, good. Honestly, it's it's a really, really solid game. I really like it. I wouldn't say the game is difficult for anyone looking to get into it or just like the puzzles aren't too bad. Trust. It's more just like a interactive thing. Sorry, I swear I bashed that. It's okay, I like full playing as a skeever. You just you just live your best little skeever life there, <laughs> John. Also, as someone is pointing out in my chat, you can put the cat in a bucket and ride the bucket oh, around. Oh yeah, that's so adorable. Like and a cat lot of in a this... bucket is my new favorite thing. I I wish my cats would sit in a bucket. When I played the game, I always just had the mentality. of was like, okay, what would a normal cat do? And then I did that. And it worked Knock out fine. Knock everything off of <laughs> every shelf. If you're not playing that way, it's not, it's not accurate. Honestly, yeah. Just what would a cat do? And then that'll make your puzzle uh, experience so much easier. I'm going to have to do all these friggins or not. Yup. Look. <laughs> it was so adorable when you could just like ride in a barrel, climb all the things, stuff that you wouldn't normally expect you could do. It's, it's, it's a very fun game and it's, it's really cool. I just, I don't know, I like it. I like it, 10 to 10. How far are you into it without uh, dropping spoilers? Like how many hours? Um, I don't know how far I have to go, so I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> I'm probably halfway. Okay, yeah, so like you got Few chapters in. Oh, thank God, when there's only two people, it doesn't summon a bunch of spriggans. Is that how it works? I never knew. I I think so, because there's only yeah, there's there's a lot less. I didn't know Another that. game that came out, or not came out, it's not new, but like big event, Genshin, and their summer. Stuff happening. I thought it was pretty fun. Genshin always that does much at all. such a good job with their quest. That's a game that just does a really good job. I haven't played a ton of it. Um, because of course ESO High Isle came out, and I'm still catching <laughs> yeah. up because I've stopped playing card games finally. Oh yeah, speaking of that, I actually got max rank recently. We both got the Rubidite rank, which is the highest you can get without pushing like the top 10% or whatever Woo! and all the cool decorations housing items cool dyes definitely worth it it's awesome um yeah I, yeah it's just addicted to the card game so I read this post and what would you say the best two and the worst two decks are entails a tribute yeah I don't know. I feel like that's completely subjective. I don't. I don't. Well, think I mean, there just is. like, have you played a lot of ranked games after you hit Rubidite? Not a lot. 
Okay. Um, however, I don't think, okay, unpopular opinion, I don't think there are bad decks in Tales of Tribute. Oh, yeah, I don't think there are bad decks. There are just, like, some that are, like, picked every game, and some are just like, eh, I guess we'll try but this. But that doesn't necessarily make them bad or worse. Like, everyone's going to pick Halalu, usually. But Halalu is a great yeah. deck. I think the one that uh, I don't like the most is probably either Sorcerer King and the Regime deck. Not because they're bad, but just like hey, two I, I'm better or more comfortable That's with the gonna... others. I yeah, I, I, my favorite and... my favorite yeah. deck is um, actually I really like Red Eagle. I've I've learned to lean oh, yeah, into Red, Red Eagle. Eagle. Definitely top tier. Red Eagle is very fun. Good. Um, I actually, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm a Red Eagle Halalu kind of gal. Give me money. Destroy cards. Give me money. Bing, bing, bing. That is actually the more popular combination of what I've seen. Yeah, I would, I totally understand that. Both ranked and non-ranked. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I can't think of like what two decks would be considered or what two patrons would be considered like just not cool. I don't even, I can't even fathom it. I think, I like the Sorcerer King one, the Malmer one, but I feel like it's very reliant on who has the patron versus using oh. combos more than Absolutely. I mean, the combos in their crush, they absolutely destroy, but it's, it's definitely becomes a game of spend three gold every turn and yeah. steal the patron, which is aggravating. I guess it's just my style of play. I like using combos and outsmarting my opponent versus here, I have to have this patron every time. Yeah, but that's also the strength of the deck. But most people don't pick the Sorcerer King either. <laughs> yeah, because it's the last one to get. It's, so, I'd say it's just a grind to get. I, I think too that it's just because of the play style, it's a little dangerous. Now, someone, Theo in my chat is saying that Sigic is probably least popular. And I think I I can see that. I think a lot of I can see oh, yeah, I can see that being a more use your brain deck, but I think it's very yeah. solid. It's a good yeah, it's a good it. deck, but I think it's one that people definitely don't lean into a lot. Um, which is kind of their loss because it could it could be a very strong deck. But yeah, I agree. I don't think I see that one pick. I usually pick it. There are times where I will pick it, mm. and I don't think I've ever really seen if, if someone has another deck, they usually will pick that over Sigic, at least from what I've seen in my ranking. So, yeah. Yeah, it's So, I talked slow. to some people who have never played card games before, and they're just like, okay, so if I want to learn a card game, St. Pelin would be the easiest one because it's just like, okay, you get numbers and power, then translate that into points. In versus theory, someone who's yeah, played it's the games. most straightforward, in theory. Yeah. You just, but you have to have the one. right combos. Which and I, I am very happy that they are nerfing some of the Pelon cards. Well, nerfing by making it cost more. It's I guess, definitely a well-needed yeah. change. It, it is kind of aggravating in a way, but um, yeah. Turn one and get like a huge power card that just like wins you the game. Most rally! <laughs> yeah. Dang it, overall, rally! I think they did a really good job on like overall balance and I really haven't had. Yeah, I've seen some people kind of say that like some of the the decks are a little more, um, you know, like people have said like, oh, it's unfair and it's all RNG. And I mean, I guess some of it is, but the thing that I found is the more I play, the more I kind of devise counter strategies. Yeah. And I like I've started to beat people with rally, and I'm like, heck, it's hard. It's harder to do. Yeah, it is very hard. Um, but it can be done. people just like to minimize the RNG, which can't in <laughs> card games, but... Yeah, well... Strategy is important as well. Yeah, yeah. I like Tales Tribute. I still like it. It's been how many months since it came out? One month? <laughs> and I'm still addicted, so... You're dead. There's also the whole, like... Am I going? Yes. I feel ranked is easier than unranked. Yeah. What's up with that? Unranked is harder. Unranked I guess it's just because harder. I wouldn't say people are scared of playing. It's just more rank and ladder in general. It doesn't even happen in this game. Just everything in general. 
Yeah, that could be. Gives people anxiety and whatnot. So I understand that. There are definitely yeah. a lot of good players in unranked. Also, the expert NPCs, sometimes I still lose to them. Yeah, I Rare, like that, they're, I like that the happens. NPCs are challenging. And I think it's a really well balanced thing. There's a chest in here. Did you do the founders yet? I haven't. I need to go do them because I unlocked them. Oh, oh hey, I unlocked them and I just said I should go play the main quest now. <laughs> and the I still have decks finished. are like, they bring a new breath of life into, nice haul. into the card games. I'm excited. It's not difficult. You got it. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> All right. Uh, remember which one was it? I believe it's the one that on the right. Turns into a werewolf. I think it's the one on the right. Okay. I hope. I don't know. I don't know. I was right. I know how to play this game, huh? Am I burning? Or are we gonna play it? Yeah, this? YOLO up to you. I got okay, magma. Okay, YOLO. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What do you have? One? A magma shield. Oh, perfect. If we get the Doritos and you snack in it, there's something wrong. Snack food boss. Love snack it. food boss. Yes. All right. I think we can handle it. Oh, that was easy. Indeed. It was easy. Go team. So this is your plan? All right, dude. This one. We got the trifecta on this a while ago, I think. Yeah, several months ago now. And this is actually a really fun one, just because there's mechanics that you well, like. This one is more mechanics heavy than just burn, because things happen every percent. And, I feel like yeah. dungeons and ESO have started to become very mechanics heavy, and I really. I love that so much. Yeah. I, I really like it. I, I think I think that's the way it should be. Like, yeah, I guess burn, being able to like skip all the mechanics in a dungeon, it feels satisfying in a way, but it's not as fun to me. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad they do that. They're moving more yeah. towards uh, mechanically intense stuff. Uh, I think that's the way to go. Doggos! Not catos. Cat doggos. <laughs> Still, you have not fallen. How surprised! Seeing if I can just like uh, AOE everything down and. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Seems to be working. I'll try to chain them in if I can. I think you have to kill at least one doggo. Yeah, I'm working on it. Well, no matter. I love Vicosa's voice acting too. Yeah! Vicosa! Vicosa! Beam them to death! Okay. Let us strike again, please. Are you stuck or choosing to remain still? I don't know, Bastion! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Silver Dawn chest! I'm so carried! Wow, and that. This is actually worth that a lot. That was adorable! Too. Dreamer RNG. Oh, carry. <laughs> no. I have to empty out my inventory. No, I, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, Kill the Bye, no. I love this dungeon. Yeah, this is a good one. This is actually still a really good dungeon, even to this day. We did it! Yay. We're adequate. I know Satisfaction. One also, while we were running werewolf. this dungeon, to Tonko, who is one of my friends, well, one of our friends, but also my Twitch chat mod, is talking about how he has a whole bag of 40% ivory white chocolate in his fridge. Ooh, that sounds good. But I also want to know why. Man just likes chocolate. Why do you have all this chocolate in your fridge? Let's ride. Hey, I don't see a problem. Mm, he just likes chocolate. Chocolate. Hey, I it's like, is that like, that's like the cooking chocolate. Like, that's like you cook with that chocolate. Yeah. Mmm. Making cookies. the cake. Are you making cookies? I want cookies. As I get older, I start to like dark chocolate more. 
It's still bitter, but I like it some more. Some of it I like, some of it I do not like. It it, it kind of depends. Yeah. It depends a little bit. I mean, chocolate is chocolate, and I love chocolate. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> If it's got cocoa in it, I'm probably going to eat it. So I heard that <laughs> dark chocolate helps you like sleep or relax more. I don't know if that's true, but I don't know. I heard there was a study. Everyone's oh, he has it because he wanted to try it, and it's two pounds of chocolate. So they, it's like you went two to Costco pounds. and there's like you, two pounds the lowest like quantity I can get I'm buying I, it. I guess so, yeah. Mmm, white chocolate. White chocolate's got a really interesting taste, too. I like white chocolate. Have you ever had I those like... Reese's Cups, the white chocolate versus, like, the regular ones, or a Kit Kat's, the white chocolate? No. I have had... You know what I had the other day that I was surprised was a thing here? Yeah. Was mint Kit Kats. I love those. They're oh, my God. They're actually pretty good. I was really surprised to discover that we actually have all these flavors of Kit Kats. Because, like, the U.S., we usually have very unexcited like uninspired kind of chocolate you know what i mean not yeah. like you go to like i don't know i think of a country like japan where they have all the flavors just, of kit kats yeah dude, they have everything they have everything <laughs> dude also so tonko says to you i wanted to try a higher percent white chocolate to see what it tastes like a lot less sweet than what you get in most candy almost tastes like condensed milk condensed milk is kind of sweet though March of Sacrifices, John. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm Hold scared. On. I'm trying to find a title. <laughs> find a title? I wonder where that Airy Ascender one is. Oh, Airy Ascender. Yeah, this is, I, this is my new favorite. Well, I'm going to go back to Ardent Bibliophile soon. I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to wear this for a while. This is yeah. A, I worked hard for that title. <laughs> I Dude. love that dungeon. That dungeon, Coral Airy, has my new favorite hard mode. It is just... I don't know why I love that hard mode so much, but I do. Quick tip we could give you for Coral Airy hard mode is if you have a Sork, negate that final phase. My Sork's really OP. I can't stand it. I can't stand y'all. <laughs> so good at the game. But know this. Also, learn, no, so learn how to hug your friends and how to not run through. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't run through the lines. Social distancing. Yeah. Yeah. You should be good at that by now, right? <laughs> All right, good. I think we're Ready? good. I think we're good. We have some new friends here. We're, we're recording this live today on my Twitch channel. So we have lots of new friends saying hi, Yay. and we're going to do this on bet. And I don't know what this is going to be like with two people, but we're going to find out. No pressure. No pressure, but also lots of pressure. I don't, yeah, I think this will be fine. I don't think hopefully. there are a lot of bad mechanics. Like, the first boss has some interrupts. That's really all I can think of. There's that one where, you know how, like, the fire tornadoes and stuff come out? And there's the boss that kind of just hops, and you got to block a lot of stuff in big heals. I think that's the only tricky one, but I think we'll be fine. Oh, the one after the Spriggan. What yeah, the heck's yeah. his name? What's that guy's name? <laughs> the one Dude, he's like cheese, the main antagonist no of the dungeon, and I can't remember his name. <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, someone in group chat is saying they're trying, they're in a prog group and they're trying to do the no death. Um, yeah. but then someone cracks up laughing and dies on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I feel like no death is, um, like the moment you say, hey, we're going for the no death, it's kind of in your head and then you just kind of like hyper fixate on it. And, you know, a few people like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't know anybody like that. The best thing to do, honestly, is, like, not think about it and just assume, like, you're running it as normal, like a random. Yes. Or just, if you're that kind of person, just put bear around all the time. Bear is a great skill. Indeed, it is. Balor, 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 Balorug, Balorug, that guy. <laughs> you good. <laughs> try, try to get us. No, I can never remember this boss's name until I hear Balor. it, and I'm like, yeah, that one. That one, that one sounds like fun. It's like me trying to say bard. No, I got this bard of art. Bard, bard or bard. Bard, bard? Bard. Oh. It's a bard, bard or bard. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> it's a bard and fell. 
He led them right to Art, us. Bard Bark? Basically, Boreal. is what it is. You have to save I can never say that name either. It's I don't understand why. Poor spirit. I struggle. Words are hard. Bard Bard is Bard Bark. Uh, yeah, Bard Bard. bark. Bard Bark. Like two Vs, but yeah, yeah Bard Bark. Bard Bark. See, I got it. I actually <laughs> do know it. Tatanga just makes fun of me, and then I think I can't say it. Bard Bark. Bard Bark. bark. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, we might as well start reading the, uh, slowed book while we're- NAGASTA! Hey, Admiral! Oh, to the channel. Zabaja! Zabaja! Dude, I love- <laughs> I love slowed. They're so gross. Yeah, I just set realized- was a very unique one. I just realized that there's actually someone in Somerset in Eleanor that if you talk to them, their, like, rumor text is- I heard that there's a toad infestation in Cloud Rest. <laughs> and I'm just like, yes, toads. Exactly it. All right. All okay. Right. How do we uh, interrupt the things? I don't I'll know. I'll just take the sword and shield. Yeah, you do one. that. I'll and I will try not yeah. to get silenced. Sounds great. I'm ready to fire. I'm not really sure who should be the priority target here, so I'm just gonna, you know. Uh, the one with the blue circle because of silences, and then the healer. And then you save the sword and shield dude for last. Yeah, I know sword and shield is last. Alright. Silence is really hard when you're a melee mad flower. Indeed it is. I don't like it. Keep the sisters separate. You can't rely on magic how dare you let them strategy. get in? I love how Bastion's like, hey, ding dong, you don't have any resources. Like, that's that's my life on a regular basis, actually, Bastion. <laughs> oh my god, so life. many. This is like the dog fight, basically. Only my companion would use their ult. It's sitting at max. I'm taking aim. Miri, what is Miri's ult? Uh, I'm not even sure, actually. I I don't remember. It's like a. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I would have brought Isabel if I had her unlocked on my tank. You know, oh, would, yeah, because you have to unlock companions on each character. I wish it was just, like, one unlock every time, but, like, if you want to do the quest over again, that's cool. You can do it, but you just do it once and unlock them. Yeah. All your characters. Yeah. That would be I nice. mean, I get why you have to do it, because, like, your character has Yeah, yeah. Met. Like, story, but, yeah. Ow! Quality of life. She hit me. All right, well, this, I don't have any resources. I'm gonna have to put a uh, ritual circle on, I think. In the future. Obviously. You'd be struggling. Me struggling as a magplar? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just gonna beam, because that's what I do best. <laughs> I, I have it taunted, I swear. It just charges random. No, 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 I, I, didn't, I didn't roll. It's my fault, it's me. It's not you, it's me. Good news is, uh, damage is not a problem. No, actually, two of them are almost dead, so this is gonna go. Yeah, really three percent, nine, and fifty. My All right. Spirit remains with you, sisters. The spirit of the stag. Lives okay, on. one more. That went quick. Snark bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, someone in chat is saying about how they just got um, that Fang Layer no death recently. Yes. Nice. That's a huge dungeons. accomplishment. Yeah, that's a tough dungeon. Still to this day. Actually, um, let's see. A friend of mine ran it with a friend and two random players. The two players bailed after defeating the last boss. She pulled me into tank two ad poles, got credit for a full instance. Hell yeah. <laughs> Nice. 
We did it! Again. Yay! All right, let me... I don't really want to get rid of any of these, but I think Why I'm going you... to... Come here. Yes, channeled focus this... is my friend. Okay, we're good. You... Okay, the so one I... thing I want to talk about, this is something I've seen more people get into ever since, Before like, the whole pandemic thing, is various dogs. tabletops. And since we have a campaign that's nearing its end... Sadly. Yeah. What were what would be some tips you would give to people who are looking into it but have no idea where to start? For tabletops. Yeah, just like whether it's an online tabletop hey. with your friends or in person. First of all, join the club because tabletops are amazing. Yeah. Um, I think, I mean, the best thing I think is just to know what you're looking for. Because mm -hmm. there's lots of different styles of tabletop and you're going to run into, there are people that are like min-maxers. Like you're, well, I think you're more- Well, assuming playing with their friends, not like a random. Well, I think it's still true. Cause like you have to find out like, are you a min-maxer or are you a storyteller? Like, are you a role player? Like, yeah. just cause like, what's your style? Cause I think that'll help you have the most so what, fun. Yeah, one thing I look at is like, let's say for example, if everyone you're playing with is lawful good or something, that's not as fun as if there's a diversity. Hey, Are lawful you? good doesn't just mean lawful nice. <laughs> yeah, so you have to have a mix of People who are chaotic and whatever, normal. Yeah, I think crazy. bouncing out your party is helpful too. Like I'm in a um, an Elder Scrolls tabletop called The Lesser Prophecies. Mm -hmm. Also on YouTube, shameless plug. But um, you know, I I was lucky. I came in last, so I looked at what everyone else's character was and was like, okay, we need a mage. I'm gonna be a mage. And it was yeah. funny because my friends like, I knew you were gonna be a mage because that's what we needed. And you're like. Wow, okay, so cool. predictable. So predictable. But it helps out now. Oh, there's a heavy sack here. Cool. Um, yeah, it's actually kind of funny to see the popularity of tabletops. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, and how big people are playing. People home all day. I'm gonna try something new. I think it's definitely very fun. You should try it at least once. I think things too, like, if you look at, like, the popularity of things like Critical Role, which I think really made tabletop and role-playing like just not a niche little nerd thing anymore like it's something it's, that oh, anyone tabletop has do. always been popular yes but i think it's also had like a big stigma of being like oh yeah like that if you nerd play you're thing. a nerd kind of thing yeah yeah which of course we're pitching to the choir because we're all, we're all, you're, we're you're all you're watching this video you're we play nerd, video probably. games <laughs> here's a heavy sack um yeah so our tabletop that we do, or we did, was a homebrewed one for Elder Scrolls themed, like Hammerfell. And it's been going on, it's almost ending, but we've been playing it for about three years now. And it's actually really fun because this is my first time as a player and a DM. So it's like, what did we learn from that or out of this campaign? What did we get out of it? Balance is hard. Yeah, balance is hard. But then I even read the whole like fifth edition book to see what would be the official rule. And uh, oh, very interesting. So tabletop is definitely a big one to get into and learning it is a pretty steep curve, but I think everyone will have fun. I think it's fun. I enjoy, I enjoy things like that, but I've always been more of like a storyteller player. So stuff yeah. like that is really fun. To me. So when you started, how did you go about picking your character and like, what made you pick that? Where did you go to write your backstory and pick your skills and whatnot? I, um, well, I really like melee kind of characters. Yeah. So I knew I was going to do that right from the get-go, but I actually used my, um, used a character that I had already. I never I died! <laughs> I don't think I've ever died to that. I don't think I've ever seen that mechanic before. <laughs> First time for everything. <laughs> Lydia, take you. That's right, Bastion, you tell him. You got this. I do, I just, I'm oh, trying I'm to also now. <laughs> we figure got out so close. what the mechanic is, because now I'm actually, I want to know. I can't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you, 
get the blessings, so what the heck do the blessings do? Yeah. I wonder if the blessings are just like, you take it and you get a buff or something? I'm not sure. I got an, a red one? I don't know. Because the NPC, Hanyu's like, oh, protect yourself from the seasons. And I thought that's what it was for, but... I've determined 99, 999 ways the mechanic does not work. No, I just can't figure it out. I'm trying to puzzle through it. There is. Okay. You guard yourself against the Spriggan's elemental spell. But, like, what does that... How? How do I do that? I don't know how to do that. I can't figure it out. But I'm going to. Oh, someone says if you got one season blessing, do you go to the opposite? Maybe. Wow, oh, there's, there's an like one, but like one percent. Yeah, like it's funny how they like enrage too. So then you have to pull it up with that BS. <laughs> Wranglers out of here too because they're really messing me up. Yep, sounds good. Green sure, companion that? staff. Oh boy. <laughs> I still don't know what the mechanic is, like the intended way to do it. That bothers me. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta change a lot of skills back. Hold on. What is it? Juno's happy though. She came over to say hi. Oh. Yay. This light will guide right. you. Uh, Follow yeah, it. Say hi. Or what it shall reveal I don't... the beast you see. Cat time. What matters is we did it. We did it. We have zero <laughs> understanding of the fight mechanically, but we did it. See, you, perseverance. Perseverance. Juno's excited. <laughs> Hold on, I have an aggro, cat aggro here. Would you like something, Juno? Usually, when you're running this with competent group you just burn the bar boss it, and then like there are no mechanics it literally is a i'm not even joking it's like a two second boss fight and you don't <laughs> yeah. even think of twice about it yeah um but that's also a really good example too of like why you can't get frustrated with stuff in video games like if we had just given up there but it just that's it you know but like we just stuck to it yep changed our strategy got through it so that's that's what you got to do you can't just give up you know don't ever blame the game. It's never the game, you know? Sometimes it's just you just need to rework your strategy. I blame lag all the time. Yeah, it's definitely the lag. <laughs> blame the lag. Blame the lag, 100%. Uh, but Food's yeah, you know, up. just re-examine yep. the fight, talk with your team, and just change up your strategy. And nine out of 10 times, you'll get it. Sea Lurcher, our favorite enemy. Oh my God, I hate these guys. Look. Someone also just said that the companion gear is like a participation trophy. <laughs> True. True. I have gotten a total of two purple gears in my entire career since they came out. Press F to pay respects. Um, I actually started off not I'm getting a lot to. and out of nowhere, I've gotten quite a few and I don't know what's changed, but I'm not complaining about it. Were they good ones? Did you keep it? Uh, yeah, one of them I actually haven't decided if I'm going to sell or not because apparently it's worth a lot of money. And I do like money. But you got to give it to the best boy. It's true. Bastion does have quite a lot of... He just uses ult on the wisp. Nice. I'm very proud of him. Wait, hang on. I have a present for you. Come back here. I want your green gear. It's not green gear. <laughs> Stand over here. Hey! There you go. I, Dude, we're I love that. Kit. I love how they added that to the last event. It was like the best thing ever. Yeah, now everyone I, has I, a lot of them. I never spend event tickets on them. Yeah. Especially not this time. I actually had to spend it on style pages. But I like that they were like, here, just have some group of group repair kits. I was like, 
This, Heck is, yeah. this is good, yeah. Look at look at the blood altars behind us from our companions. Oh, very. What are they fighting? Are They're they fighting there? a wisp. All the there's two wisp on the companions. I guess. This is I love companions, but this is like one of the funniest things about when you actually bring companions in the content, like stuff like this, is they just run out. I don't even know how that happens. <laughs> one day, if you ever watch my uh, my point of view for this one, and you'll see like eight things North taunted, and they're still attacking enemies, like their companions. So it's high. yeah, it's really great. If you get trapped, let me know because I can't see it. Nah, I can dodge roll. Oh, okay, cool. I thought that was a non-dodge roll little thing. I thought it was just like oh, you can happens. you can you can roll through. Oh, nice. Okay. Only it only traps you if it catches you. <laughs> oh, just don't get hit. Got it. Exactly. Why is Bastion over there? How did he get there? He went. Around, I don't know. He's just vibing. Vibing. He's vibing him back there. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Okay, so this is the boss where I feel like our check will happen. Yeah. And Dude, then we after just got that, at the spring, and I think we're good. <laughs> and then after that, yeah, this is gonna smooth be... sailing. Because the ads get a problem here if you don't have enough DPS. Yeah, yeah so we'll just uh, uh, slow burn it and see what happens. Okay. I mean, you could burn if you want to. I'm just gonna drop my duster on him when he spawns and see what happens. Okay. Burn beneath the flames. I guess I can take out, like, archers. Not, I'm not really sure what the best strat is here. Scorching heat, smoldering flesh. Uh, don't get hit. The heavy sack here, too. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'll let you, I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> heavy sack. I'm just going to take out the hunters when there's, like, more than one. That's the intended mechanic, yeah. Oh, I do know the mechanics here. Look at that. Aren't you guys proud of me? <laughs> Why did you keep chasing? Make sure to watch Why the tornadoes. Why did you keep chasing? Anu, no. I actually I really this. love the story in this dungeon. It's, it's so crap. sad, though. All the Ow. endings. Yeah, there's no, this is actually one of those, there's no happy ending kind like, of Like, there dungeons. is a good ending, technically, but... I guess that's relative. Yeah, it's super sad. And let me take out some of these super annoying. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, did you just barrier me? Uh, I did something. I'm very proud of you. I don't know what it was. This made. Did I move the boss to the ads, or did I just... Yes, it? that would be amazing. Okay. And just AoE everything. What? Yay! We're making progress! Oh my god. Hot bar with... Quick wheel. Sporky in my chat says that I did not pay my Tales of Tribute debt, so I'm being chased. Okay, you can fix that by buying more crowns. Heat. <laughs> just buy more crowns. <laughs> just buy more crowns. I will buy crowns for you, ESO, because I love you. You're a great game. I, right, I think I'm just going to beam the boss now. Good luck. Have fun. Bye bye. Beam. 10%. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> that was totally on me. I was standing and stupid and realized it and then was like, uh-oh, and then died. Totally my fault. Overconfidence. It was. Overconfidence <laughs> is the only killer of this game. Yeah, we got this it. Box Easy. This is hard. Oh, heavy suck. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that the checkpoint has been the spree and boss. <laughs> I know, right? Every time we do this, we're just like, okay, this boss is going to be the problem. 
And then it's 100%, not. especially with the DLCs. Like, we go in, we're like, okay, two man, this is where we're gonna have problems. And it never is where we think. Never. I could never in a thousand years would have thought that previous boss would have been hard. Yeah, I know, right? Remember when we did Banish Cells 1 the previous episode? Yes! And we were just like, oh, easy. It was we were like, not easy. Banish Cells, easiest one. I think it was two, right? Yeah. Was it Banish two? Cells yeah. 2, which what isn't a difficult drop? dungeon yes. for an endgame player. But when there's only two people, you're like, oh, actually, this is kind of hard. That was actually, yeah, that was actually kind of fascinating. I'm standing in the stupid again. Don't do that. I try not to, yes. <laughs> Okay, I'll try to uh, move the boss to the ads. Good, because then I'll drop a Destro. Well, at least this one, we actually understand the mechanics. It's yeah, like I, I just error. literally <laughs> have never not burned the Spriggan, so I was surprised that there were even mechanics. Yeah, me too. Why did you keep chasing it? Okay, Ice Archer. Rotating there. I like how he's going after Miri. This is such a noisy fight. Like, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I just hear lightning everywhere. Werebear. What he is? Is he a werebear? I think so. That he, his line is just like, feel the werebear strength. Oh, that makes so much sense now. He's a bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll, I beam uh... this before all the archers kill me. Hmm. Okay, I got it. Nice. Victory yeah, totally according to plan. Have to follow that wisp. That creature you're chasing looks mighty useful. Want to give your old pal Baylorg a turn with it? Ah, Baylorg. You know, that was easier than the first part. <laughs> Really, honestly, truly, I'm mystified that this. Uh, dude, I'm going to actually go back and watch the video and figure out what the mechanics are for that boss. <laughs> and you can see how insignificant it is in four mans. The fact that yeah, literally, you just hard burn in like 12 I seconds. Googled, I went and Googled, but read like three Google result pages worth of stuff, and nobody had anything about that. Boss. Yeah, because I don't think anyone had this problem. <laughs> Does anyone know the mechanic? Were bears. Were bears. There's actually a lot of were creatures in the Elder Scrolls universe. Yeah, no, bears, you, sharks, yeah. bats, wolves, of course. I'm sure yes, other things. Yes, wolves. Werewolf. I've actually made my first werewolf, and I have to say it's pretty fun. Yeah, it is. They're uh, very strong, as we all have seen in. Yeah, DVD. they're a little overpowered, but uh. I'm actually really surprised because the Elder Scrolls team is very committed to bounce. And I'm very surprised the werewolves have never been bounced. <laughs> They've been uh, tweaked multiple times, but they they like never good, bad, good, bad, good. They've kind of really never felt like not overpowered though. Like they yeah. always feel good, no matter what. I'm really impressed by that. Cause like vampires, eh, vampires, but like werewolves. Cat and Dash, please. Also, being a cat owner is very fun because your cats will just randomly run across your keyboard. Yeah, they and do that. And in front of your computer screen. And you'll tell people, oh no, it's my cat. And they're like, what an excuse. Number one excuse we've all heard. Careful there, Dash. 
And then if you ever watch my Twitch, like, now, you're like, here you go, I, it's actually true. <laughs> Bears that have layers! Bear That's machine. actually one of the questions we've gotten for next time. We'll just answer one of them now. As a new cat owner, what is one thing you would say or recommend to have or do? Start trimming your cat's nails very quickly. Something is watching so that I, they, they get, are yeah. just handling your cat's paws so they get okay. used to it. Because trying to cut a cat's claws after they've out. learned that you don't ever do that is uh, not fun. That's my number one tip. I heard that like trying to sneak in extra water to the meals like is always good. Whether cats. it's like their dry food, you just add water to it or... Yeah, cats do need a lot of water. Without water, um, they do get a lot of kidney problems. And in the wild, they get a lot of their water from what they eat. Like, you know, but dry kibbles don't have that necessarily. Um, yeah. I have a cat running water fountain, actually, that works very well. Cavendash Dash is walking cool. in front of my face right now, so he must endorse this. <laughs> Um, and then another thing is like having or watch out for certain plants in the house because they're like poisonous. A to lot cats. of house yeah. plants are poisonous to cats and flowers. So if you like bouquets and stuff. Um, also, you should always have more than one litter box. Yeah. You should have one. You should have more than one toilet in your house too. Yeah, but you'd be surprised how many people have like one litter box and multiple cats. You should have oh. one box for one each cat, cat plus yeah. one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That so like sense. I have three cats, I should have four litter boxes. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm detected, even though I'm crouching. Oh, boy. They never fix this. I love you, Zoss, but please fix the Tarsier fight. It's been, like, three years. I just want the achievement. I know, I can't get the <laughs> achievement because it's still fun. My dad was a mechanic. Does that count? Yes, yes. You know the side areas on this? We've done it so long ago, but they're actually kind of difficult. Oh, yeah. I haven't done the side box, the Indrix, in a very long time. Yeah, those like actually the lightning dodge hard. one where you have to get from point A to B. Ooh, yeah, man, I remember so that trouble. one actually sucking back in the day. Come on! Dude, it's weird because I, I tried to synergize with it last time. It didn't... That's what just happened to me. I went to synergize and it was like, nope, you're detected now. You know what? I like the companions don't have to crouch. Must be nice. <laughs> Carried. That's over with, I suppose. Oh my god, so still we've seen Indrix. I remember when this dungeon came out, we were like, wow, Indrix so pretty. Now it's just like, I hate all of them. The first one was nice, the second one is alright, but when you got to like the seventh one over years i'm just like i don't care uh my chat is making fun of me too madigan says templars can't still neener 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 <laughs> not cool maddie that's why they have the fast res that's true we might die but at least we could res you i am in fast the res. bad fire donut Sorry, I'm so good luck. Bad fire donut you are actually trapped <laughs> in there have fun <laughs> Okay, I think now we can just murder the Indrick, right? I go for it. Uh, I'm working on the balcony. That's awesome. Taunted them, oh, I'm bolted in the fire. Care. Ready? Oh. He bolted me in the no. fire. Oh, this is how it ends. <laughs> I can survive another two seconds. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to unsummon Bastion? <laughs> Unreal! That was actually incredible. I We would have had Got that. Outplayed. Except that. <laughs> I'm just bad. I was reading. Um, I was reading Benevolent Bodhi said that they're working on the balcony with the heat. And then the heat got me. Yeah, and let me get rid of Bastion because he's not helping. Sorry, Bastion. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is vet. Um, yeah, this is vet. We are not doing it on normal. We're actually two manning this on vet. We crazy. Man, if this was normal and we were struggling, <laughs> I'd be a little bit concerned. 
Yeah, normal, I don't think there's anything we've ever struggled with on normal at this point, but John and I have been playing this game since forever, so we're pretty, we know the dungeons inside and out pretty much at this point. I may have done a few dungeons in my just career. Just a couple. Why is the ultimate companion ultimate so easy to hit the wrong key? <laughs> no, no, now my shot's like nerf Templars. We're not nerfing Templars, Matty Gone. If anything, we're yeah, gonna love and buff Templars. Shush. Templar players are just strong because we don't normally get buffs as a class. So we just, out of necessity, we have to get good. That's the secret. Okay, Bastion's not here, so I shouldn't be blood Wait, altered you took to off death. Or I just did. Took off the I just took him off. Oh. I hit him for a little bit. No pressure or anything. <laughs> you get to uh, sit in the corner and he's think, think, think about, about what, he's, what done. he's done. There is a bug here, <laughs> I you were though. Just change the skill out. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, let me just let me just throw out the whole campaign. <laughs> Why just do the easy thing and take the problematic skill off? Let's just new get rid of the whole <laughs> companion. I'm gonna go buy a bottle of wine after this. It's almost Friday. Oh, thank God. I haven't unlocked ultimates on my Monsters, companion, says Bo. Uh, I can never get mine to use them anyway, so. Right here, Wait, is the, ult is the funnel? No, his ult is Unleashed Rage. He builds up rage, unleashes oh, it then... in a devastating explosion. So he's full of rage. I understand. Okay. Skills. Blood Altar. Crimson Font. Let's get rid of that. What can <laughs> we put on instead? Another healing ability. Bone ability. Oh no, my undaunted. god, do I have that? I do! Yeah! Wow, I actually maxed out. What did I did good? Nice, nice, nice. Okay. All right. Okay. I think we got this now. Oh boy. Oh. Uh, my my good friend unseen staff said that they just did their first dungeon today in ESO. Congratulations. What dungeon was it? My first dungeon was Fungal 1. With you, actually, John. Oh, yeah? Do you remember? It was you and Dandra. And oh, yeah. I had just, it was my first ever group dungeon. And I think I did like 1K DPS. It was pretty great. We gotta start somewhere. Gotta start somewhere. Now here we are. Full of rage, says Maddie God, aka gas from cheese intolerance. Oh great, now I have a bone aegis synergy. <laughs> oh god damn it. Oh my god. <laughs> Bastion really just wants to heal me. He's overzealous, he does a good job. A plus companion, honestly. He's, He's trying like, so I'm hard. I'm tired of you. I'm <laughs> tired of you dying. <laughs> He's literally just following me around, throwing synergies in my face. He's a good boy. Look at him. He just wants me to survive. I love the OG companions, but Isabel, I love it. Isabel is great. I just finished her quest line and it's pretty good. I wish it was a little more centered on her though. Yeah. Okay, so I don't want to spoil it, but like, I don't know how to say it without spoiling. It's more about her friend. Yeah, it's not really about her, and it felt weird, but I liked it. But it wasn't really like a quest about Isabel. Or it was yeah. very indirectly about her. Oh, the companions are dead, so. Oh. That takes care of that problem. <laughs> and so it does. <laughs> I'll try to get the thing that holds us closer. Yeah. Uh, you don't remember names, but you just did it. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed it. I think. Do you remember your first dungeon? Uh, Dark Shade One. Dark Shade One. Do you? 
do you remember whether or not you thought it was like super confusing? Um, probably. I didn't have gear because when I first started, I chose like whatever I thought was fun, and then not optimal at all. Probably I thought it was difficult. Oh no. Oh my god, I can't move. Oh god, wait. I can't move! Oh. I don't understand. Okay. Input language changed to English. I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know uh, what was going on there. <laughs> uh. I remember though, let me talk about this now that I'm dead. I can chat it up. I remember my my first dungeons, I didn't feel like they were confusing. Maybe because I had been playing for so long, so I understood like very basic stuff about combat. But my first couple of trials were actually like, I don't think I understood what was going on in like months worth of trials. Cause I was just like, it's so overwhelming when you first do oh, the yeah. first one. Oh yeah, it's not really intuitive. Someone's like, has to explain it. Okay, now I can move. I'm sorry. I don't know what I did. I think my keyboard went to Dvorak, actually. Sounds like you need to disable that. <laughs> uh, yes. You can blame Dr. Mr. Avram. Oh, I'm gonna get bolted. Oh, I'm bolted. Thank you. I came back from the dead and didn't have any resources, and that guy's enraged. What the hell? I didn't realize they, like, enrage. Yeah. I hate everything about this place, actually. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, at least our final episode is Struggle Bus, which feels right somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Until the new dungeon come out. I'm actually so excited for the two new dungeons. Yeah, I, I tried to not just spoil myself, but I saw some screenshots and it's like, ooh, that looks I cool. haven't even looked at screenshots and I've heard nothing but good things, so, ow. Oh, that was just rude. <laughs> I'm gonna delete my account. <laughs> Language thing is something with shift key. Okay, so I'm like very ambitiously Oh, like the hitting. sticky keys? Yeah, and yeah I, I guess that must that. be it. I'm gonna kill this butcher because he's annoying me. I remember I used to have that problem until it was like one day I was so fed up with them. I'm just like, okay, how do I just think? So, story time with Avron. My good husband, Dr. Mr. Avron, can't use a QWERTY keyboard. Pretty. He uses Dvorak. So every computer in my house must have Dvorak. Otherwise, he can't use it. So of course, mine does, but sometimes, I accidentally turned Dvorak on, and I cannot use Dvorak. Where is... Oh, God. So, I guess that must be what happened. And then I just didn't know what to do. I heard that he's uh, building his own. He is building his own computer. So now you can disable it, and he has his own. Yes, actually. It's going to be the QWERTY challenge here soon. All right, one more phase. I will not get bolted in lightning. I will not do anything <laughs> stupid. In theory. You want me to stand near you, so just in case something yeah, happens? Yeah, or... maybe. I'll stand near you. I should be near you anyway. Okay. I will actually play the game right. <laughs> okay, so the trick that I used to do was, like, stand in my own corner and look backwards. So that way, like, you can see what's happening behind you. Oh, this phase is fine. It's, but it's, nowadays, I think there's a CP passive that, like, you could fall from a distance and not take as much damage, so you won't get one-shotted no matter oh, what. Nowadays. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you can fall, I think, a certain number of times on bet before you die, so I think it's like four. Yeah. You're mine! Come here! Four of the best strat is, uh... Don't mess up the mechanic. <laughs> the best strat is just don't die, which should be easier than it is. Uh, however, for two people on bed, I think we're having a smashingly good time, so... Most keyboards in Canada are multilingual. True. Oh, where is it? Yeah! Nice. Nice. We're free this of this place. 
Tasia's heart is ours. I hate it here. With this, thanks. I hate it. freedom is assured. Final, Come on. final dungeon still... is really giving oh. us a challenge, which is good. We've been in here for sixty-three minutes. Everything's fine. We're not getting the speed run, John. I hate to tell you. Oh dang. <laughs> At what point I don't, <laughs> no, I don't think we've ever gotten a speed run on a vet with just the two of us because it's physically impossible. I think we did cradle. Did you really think we, did we do cradle? Be so easy. I remember cradle being way easier than I thought it would be. We did the hard mode on cradle too, I'm pretty yeah. sure. And then two person the, cradle hard mode, and I don't, still don't know how. The uh, original too, like the Imperial City White Gold. I think we got a speed run on those. Okay, I take that back. We're actually pretty awesome, but. I can't believe it. What, how many times did we wipe on this freaking? <laughs> I like. It doesn't really make sense to me of what I'm supposed to do. I just know like, okay, beam shield got it. I still don't know what I'm doing on there. We'll figure it out uh, one day. Someone wants to know what is the link to your YouTube? YouTube.com slash John Law 98. Yeah, it is JohnLine98, and you can see it there in my Twitch chat now. John's awesome. Uh, makes a lot of content for a lot of video games. What's your favorite video game to make content for? Uh, Currently or just all time? Currently and all time. I, okay. From, I guess right now, Black Desert would be my favorite. But then okay. previously... I, I don't know. I just, I just like MMOs. What do you mean? MMOs in general, yeah. What would be your favorite single player game yes. you've uh, ever played? My favorite single player game? Yeah. <laughs> Elder Scrolls. Anything. Okay, besides Elder Scrolls. Okay, if Elder Scrolls was not in the picture. My favorite single player game. Intriguing. Very well. Bring me their heart. Probably made, not. Zelda Link's yeah. Awakening. Like Zelda's old school Game Boy version. I really love Zelda games. Would you consider Minecraft a single player? Like, yeah, you can do yeah. both, but would you consider Yeah, I, I guess, yeah. I actually still can't believe Minecraft's a thing because it's... All these games are like, okay, gotta play this game, 4K, highest resolution, and then there's Minecraft. Minecraft, there's something about just building. Yeah, like, I, think I think that's creative why games like that. Yeah, Minecraft, Valheim, they're still my favorite games. I mean, you ever play those? Well, I guess another fun game that I played as a series on YouTube was The Sims, and that one is ah, definitely a good the one. Sims, I have an embarrassing amount of hours in The Sims as a series. It's just so fun. Yeah. Like once people get into it, it's just like, okay, so what are we doing today? And then it's like building your own let's play. Yes, Minecraft. Oh, Bo says his kids love Minecraft. My niece and nephew got into so Minecraft. Kind of you to pay me a visit. And then they discovered Saves that their aunt, the Avron, also likes done. Minecraft, <laughs> unironically. And now I'm the coolest person ever. Heck yeah. They were like, Aunt Avron, you play Minecraft? I was like, oh yeah. And I was like talking to them about the things and they were like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, can we play Minecraft with you? Oh, that's so adorable. I'm like, oh, it's so cute. And at the same time, I'm like, oh, boy. And you played Minecraft with them, right? I, we're working on setting up. They haven't done, they have like <laughs> Minecraft on. So, Bo, you probably get this, right? Because like, there's like a gazillion different ways you can play Minecraft, right? So like, they have their world on their little tablets, but they have a different version of Minecraft. I always thought I'm that working. like as long as you have the same version you can play no matter what like on your phone or Yeah, I'm gonna I'm working on setting up like a little creative server that we can play on because they don't quite understand the ins and outs of it yet because they're like, you know, five. But... Yeah, yeah. yeah I it's, think it's what you would cute. do, just build a house with them, teach them show them blocks. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna have a little Minecraft world. Alright, here we go. Hold for another moment. I'm going to set a trap. Oh, it's over here. Hey, you know how it's uh one, like one wolf per person usually. Wonder if we get less now. Actually, an excellent question. Yeah. No, I think it's just gonna cycle through. Oh my god! I just oh walked right into that like an idiot. 
I was thinking about math. <laughs> what? Okay. English teachers, don't we don't do that. Four we minus two is two. Oh no, quick math. We got into Minecraft from surviving the ride. Yeah, there's Java versus Bedrock. I don't know what the yes. difference is actually. One of them is cross-platform and one of them is not. Oh. Uh, I just bought the Java one a long time ago because that's all they had. So I was like, Yeah, okay. same, but when your dad is buying it for you and you're five. Uh, <laughs> yeah. My older brother is not quite as hip and down with the video games as he used to be. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he, he's a gamer, definitely, at heart. Oh, you have it again. Yeah, so we're just going to get two. Dude, actually nice. Maybe you'll get them all, and I can just sit here and do nothing. That'd be great. <laughs> Don't stand in the fire. <laughs> I'll just try not to stand in the stupid and pretend like I've been playing this game for years, <laughs> and I know what I'm doing. I'm going to drop my Destro. Bye, doggos. Java is the original, and it's more moddable, I think, says Tatanka. Probably, it sounds about right. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's Minecraft crazy so to fun. think. Yeah, and people still play Minecraft. Minecraft is such a simple concept, but it's the simplicity of the concept, I think, that makes it popular. Yeah, I think, like, any everyone... game that allows creativity is always good. You have it again. Yeah, it's just people like being creative and for good reason. Like creativity is very important for your brain. Yeah. And for your thought process. Creativity is good for you. My call. Dude, Abra, you got to dodge the fire. I can't pay attention today. I'm just bad. <laughs> just leave me here to die. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will <laughs> try to pay attention. No, it's all good. Thinking about Minecraft and chocolate and this conversation today has gone mm. in a million directions. It's a fun episode. We learned a lot. And we learned a lot today, class. Also Valheim. I want to play that again one day. Valheim is so good. If you haven't played Valheim, that's another game I'd highly recommend. It's still an open... Oh, God been access like but it's amazing it feels like a fully yeah honestly game. it feels like it's completed they just have to like add stuff yeah, but it feels crazy. like it's done such a good game hey, is he gonna do the thing again yeah. yep yes he is i wonder if i'm gonna get it you know I one day it. we should have like just a game night and then do stuff game night let's go There are so many doggos. But it's not fire. <laughs> so many doggos! Alright, alright, I'm gonna get rid of the doggos. Oh, I'm going to get eaten by the doggos. Run! Run! No! Oh, no. I'll shred you to pieces! I believe in you, John. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There are so many wolves. Oh, God. Oh my God. One Bowdrow. more with face. Oh, God. I'm going to send a trap. Where is it? I'm going to die. Oh, I see it. It's on me. Okay, good. I believe in you. I got to get rid no, of wait, these dogs. It's not on... Wait, is it on me? I think so. Yeah, it's not on me. Dude, I'm so glad we only get like one of them or two. You all out. Oh, God. Uh, let me see if I can beat him to death before the dogs kill me. No, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, that's a lot of doggos. Oh, my God. 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 This is actually insanity. The amount of puppers this guy has summoned. <laughs> Stop me! Oh, yeah, thank we did it. That was actually stressful. Even Juno came over <laughs> to check it out. <laughs> Quite the thrilling hunt. Holy crap! Dude, that was a good one. I liked it. 
What do you see? We did it. We're adequate. I don't ever want to come back to this again for a long time. So yeah, so we finally have, have finished I all the dungeons. Every dungeon out as of you July 20th, 2022. Uh -huh. We have two mates. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, we're That's awesome. If you want to check out the playlist, link in the description, or you can find it somewhere Ooh. else. And freedom, yeah. You don't Thanks, Avron. We have one Thanks, more John. episode. One more episode I... where we do the big finale I don't know if I can do that. until there are new dungeons released yes. a month. So so if you excited. have any questions feel free to leave it in the comments ask Avron pretty open to a lot of things my team will curate it and we'll get it next time we did it thanks for being here Avron oh thanks You're for awesome. having me John yep and we'll see no, you guys you. later bye